Hi, my name is Wes Nance, and I play second trumpet in the Rochester Philharmonic Orchestra. This is my 29th season in the orchestra, but only about my 10th season drinking coffee. I was a late starter. So every morning, I make some coffee for myself and my wife, and this is my setup in my kitchen. So, ground the coffee, ground my espresso, and now I'm tamping. Got to tamp to a specific pressure, try and get a uniform level of thickness in the portafilter. Got to take a break to play every now and then. Got to get ready. We don't have much time in the morning. We're running our kids to school, putting them on the bus, driving the car. So I lock my portafilter in. There goes the cup, and I wait about 25 seconds, about 24 grams of coffee. And before I pull the shot, I have to flush enough water through that machine to get the group head down to 200 degrees, which is the proper temperature for extracting espresso. If the water's too hot, the espresso will be bitter. If the water's too cool, the espresso will be sour. So there's a lot of moving parts when you're making coffee, especially with an espresso machine. Stop it, and there it is, ready, good to go. So now we move on to the milk. I use organic whole milk, put a little bit of my pitcher, and I steam away. And here we go, here's the first pour. I'm gonna pour a tulip. So I try to get the milk through the coffee, build a layer underneath there, and then keep the milk on top of the coffee, and each layer is a different part of the tulip. And that's a classic three-part tulip, and a pour-through, and there it is. This one is a different shaped cup, and I'm going to try a rosetta, which is the first pattern I started to learn when I was pouring latte art. That's just a wiggle back and forth and a pour-through. And there you see a rosetta with some open leaves. And I think here we're going to try a five-part tulip in a six-ounce cup. So each layer gets pushed into the next. There's three. There's four. Get room for one more. Yes, five. And the pour through. There we have it. A delicious cappuccino with a five-part tulip, just like the ones I wake for my wife Shannon every morning. So there you have it. I hope to see you at the RPO. I'll swing by some morning and we'll have some coffee.